January 7th is Orthodox Christmas, but today, according to the Gregorian calendar, is Epiphany. Now, we are going to a Catholic chapel to see how this holiday is celebrated. Here, a traditional Latin Mass will be held by a Dominican priest for a small community of believers. This small Catholic community in Kyiv keeps tradition alive through modern means. Almost all the members met on Facebook. They congregate for Tridentine Mass in Latin, in a small chapel located in an institute of religious sciences. Uh, I would like to maybe to pay attention that traditional Mass is not like the reconstruction, not a historical reconstruction, it's not just something very spiritual for the modern Gnostics who would like to uh, play this game to reconstruct and the, that if you don't know Latin so get out, N not like that, that it is the other way maybe another spiritual way to be present, to uh, speak with uh, God and uh, uh, to fill these centuries behind our backs and not to uh, separate, but more to um, accomplish and to be part of. But before the Dominican priest Father Igor arrived in October 2018, no one celebrated this traditional rite in Kyiv. Now, these believers celebrate Mass twice a month and also Catholic holidays like Epiphany, which has a different meaning in the Orthodox tradition. Well, first of all, I'm not very familiar with the Greek tradition, but in the Latin tradition, Epiphany is quite an important holiday. It was established as a holiday in 336, even before they began celebrating the birth of Christ. In Western Christianity, Epiphany commemorates principally the visit of the wise men to Jesus. Inspired by the star, they traveled to Bethlehem and found Christ. But the holiday of Epiphany suggests that he came not just to Israel, but to the pagans, the non-Jews. The whole world was waiting for a savior, and the wise men from the East witnessed this. And this star brought them to the savior. So not just the people of Israel, but all other people had to see their Saviour in Jesus. For the moment, only 15 worshippers regularly attend the parish. Most of them have an Orthodox background, but decided to convert to Catholicism for different personal reasons. Meanwhile, some parishioners like Galina will also celebrate Eastern Orthodox Christmas with their family. Reported by Pierre Mareczko for UATV.